Feeding your little ones can sometimes be challenging, especially when it comes to making sure your toddlers are getting the nutrients that they need. Nutrition and culinary consultant Sherry Steinbaugh is here to talk to us about good options when it comes to transitioning your kids to solid foods. Something that a lot of moms think about, how am I going to do this? That's right, and we know the importance now, Val, of this first thousand days of life, and that means from conception actually to 24 months, that first thousand days the nutrition that you get in there can really help determine your you know the optimal growth that you have and your brain development and all of that so I really want people to think about that and of course we know that infants start out with right breastfeeding or, or formula feeding but then they enter this period around six months to eight months that we call the transition period over to table food and these are the complementary foods that the you know parents are starting to get into the diet so those are the times the foods really we need to think about what are those foods what is the nutrition that those foods provide for us so i want people to think about it because there are baby foods out there yes and some of the parents now are looking for just i just want it to be natural or organic okay but again think about what that food is and mm -hmm. what the nutrition is and some nutrition or nutrients to keep in mind of vast importance one of them is protein right babies have to get enough protein so they're developing um, their brain they're just growing uh, as, as they should and then also iron and zinc so iron is so their blood has that iron rich blood in it correct and then we need the zinc for building and repairing um, and then we've also got some vitamin D we got to make sure vitamin D for strong bones we've got omega-3s the DHA which can be found in salmon lots of things fortified about. eggs right, right. and mm -hmm. fats too so um, one of the things that we get um, all of these, a lot of these nutrients in is meat. And a lot of times people aren't adding that in right at the beginning. So what yeah, I want- I think sometimes yeah. parents worry that maybe it's a little bit too hard to digest. Right, right, and that's not true. Um, and so what I want to show people today is that, you know, adding in um, some meat at the beginning is very, very important, especially because it does combine the protein, you've got the iron and you've got the zinc there all together. And it's, very bioavailable to the baby. You've also got iron fortified cereals, right? And those have zinc in them too. And there's some baby foods that have those foods in them. But um, a lot of parents now are doing, we talked earlier about this baby led weaning. Yeah, this is a new trend that I yes. haven't really, didn't think that I knew about, mm -hmm. but then when I, it's basically allowing the baby to sort of eat their, right. their own food. So around six to eight months again, when the baby's able to sit up well, they can hold their head up, they're, they're looking like they're hungry maybe between um, the bottle feeding or the breastfeeding is a good time to introduce new complementary foods. So I wanna show you how I took just a family meal here and how you can transition it to the baby to make it complementary complementary to their needs. And so what I have here is a ground a beef and pasta skillet primavera. Okay. And you can see we've got lean ground beef in here. I've got whole grain pasta. I've got zucchini and summer squash and canned tomatoes. So very healthy ingredients. So this is great for the family. If you have a, a smaller infant um, and you want to puree it, you could just simply puree this, make it a little bit chunky and you're good to go right there. All of the nutrition in one. Now, if you've got that toddler and you're doing some baby led weaning and they're showing that interest in grabbing the food again and eating it, um, you can just take out the components of this very easily, make the ground beef very small pieces that they can grab onto. Again, they're getting that iron, zinc, and protein that they need. The vegetables, we've cut up very small, make sure that they're very tender. They can mash them with their gums. They may not have teeth and then the pasta as well. But you didn't include the tomatoes, and is there a reason for oh, that? Oh, no. Okay. The tomatoes would be fine as well, yep. <laughs> they just be a little I bit more put messier the, yep. when they're trying to I should to have put the tomatoes though, in there. Right. And you know, parents have to remember, a lot of times when you are doing this, some of the food may not go in. Right. That's part of that's part of the learning. That's part of the growth. That's uh, you know they're going through right there. And is this mm -hmm. a portion size for dinner for like a toddler? That's probably a good portion size. Again, it may not all go in, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Um, and there's lots of fabulous tips um, at Beef is What's for Dinner. Jill Castle, who's a specialist in um, pediatric nutrition, created some great tips and information. And um, the Beef is What's for Dinner .com website. People can download this information and um, these tips, which I love. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sherry. Of course, we've got a copy of this recipe on 13onyourside.com.